How's it going everybody, Ben from Bunch of Pokemon here, and in this video I have a very special parcel, oh well, back I should say here. If we just look at the, at the sender up above right here, it's NGC, and that is of course the company that handles the CGC submissions over here in Germany. So I'm really excited to, to open this one. I also feel something special, looks like a, or feels like a cap in here. So I don't know if that's like my, my gift for being one of the early early senders for for CGC in Germany, but we'll see. Um, it appears to be a cap. I was correct. Okay. Let's see. Oh, it's even more than just a cap. Okay, we're gonna look at that in a second. I already like the, the cap. That's really, really nice. Okay, and that's everything. Just a small box right here. And we also have this right here, so a nice CGC cap. Yo, this is actually, not gonna lie, I actually really, really like this one. Man, this is super cool. Okay, so this must be like the gifts that they said they were gonna give you. If you were like one of the first, I, I don't know what it was, like one of the first 50 or so senders within Germany. Or like sending in through their German branch, you don't have to be from, from Germany, I don't think. A cleaning cloth, it looks like, pretty nice, and a shirt right here. What is this? L. That's... might fit, although... no, that's a bit too small, I can already tell. Well, anyways, a CGC shirt, a cap, and a cleaning cloth. I... I guess that's fine. You know, I guess that works. Okay. But, the main event of this is, of course, this box right here. My first ever, not just CGC return, but first ever graded card return in general. So let's see what we can do here. Oh, that's... oh, they open like that. Okay. Ah, and this is already the correct way. So, as you can see here, we only have three cards, but they're gonna be... they're gonna be amazing. So, I think I have to do this a bit awkwardly. So let me just bend this over here. Or... no, let's do it like this. This works, okay. So let's take the... the first card out. I don't know what this is. I... hang on. Okay, I'm back. I just grabbed one of these little carts so we can block uh, we can block the grade off. So let's see what this is. Okay, so this is the the Mew from V Star Universe. I mean, just looking at it, it does look pretty good. I just don't know what it's. Maybe centering is a bit off, but I think the surface the surface looks looks really really nice. Let's see let's see the back. No, the back also seems pretty good. Okay, let's see what this is. Oh my god, it's a perfect 10! Holy moly, it's a perfect 10! Okay, so I I sent this in through or like without subgrades. And I've heard stories like this. If you send them through subgrades, if it really is a perfect card, they do at the subgrades themselves. And not only that, this is incredibly special. Because, I don't know if you've seen the recent news, like, CGC is revamping not just, not just their grading scale, but also, like, their slabs. And they're they're doing away with perfect 10s, so they're, they're not gonna be perfect 10s anymore. So this is actually incredibly good. Oh, and it is a Mew card. It is a Mew card and we have the perfect 10. Holy moly, that's insane. That's absolutely insane. Ooh, okay. Okay. Let's see what the what the next card is. So, let's just do this one. I don't know if this is the the Charizard or the the Friends in Gun. No, this is the Charizard. Okay. The Charizard. So, I would be happy with with like a 9 or above if you will. Like anything above a 9 I would be very happy with. I already have the um, the Charizard V V Max from Shiny Star V in a 9.5. So if I get a 9.5 on this, I'd be very happy. I mean, I checked these before sending them in, and I thought they were they were pretty good. I mean, this one yeah, does look pretty good. Maybe that corner up here. Let's see if the camera can focus on that. Maybe that's a bit, or maybe I'm just imagining things. I don't see any print lines, and that's really rare for this card, because this card usually usually has a lot of print lines, like one of these one of these odd ones. Let's see, back also seems to be pretty good. Okay, let's see. 
Let's see, what is this gonna be? It's a pristine 10. Okay, it's not a perfect 10. So that means there must be something, like a very, very small thing wrong with it. But it's a pristine 10. Charizard V from Shiny Star V. Yo, okay. Okay, I like it. I like it. Keep it going. We have two 10s. We have one pristine 10. One perfect 10. There's only one card left. So let me just lie this right here. We'll do away with the, with the carton. And let's see, okay, so the back on this, I mean, once again, also looks pretty good. This should be the the friends in, in Gala. The friends in Gala, let's see. This card, like, strangely enough, in a PSA 10, it has gotten really expensive, to my surprise, honestly. To my surprise, it has gotten really expensive. Okay, let's see, I mean, there is like... Are there print lines? I don't think there are print lines. I oh, This is also like one of the cards that has a lot of print lines. I mean, even my, my BGS 9.5 has print lines. But this seems to be pretty good. Centering to... Okay, let's see. Let's just... Not... Yo, oh, it's a perfect 10! Holy moly! It's a perfect 10! Oh, this is also incredibly rare. As I've said, they're revamping their whole system. So having this in a perfect 10. Jesus Christ, dude. Like perfect 10s are only going to become even more rare and even more thought after. Because they're doing away with perfect 10s. I mean, that was a really successful submission, I do believe. Okay, so let me just tell you everything that I did and, you know, my experience with CGC Germany. Because that's the one I used. That's why I got all this... All this nice merch, really like the cap. I'm, I'm gonna wear this one, this is cool. Um, I sent the cards into CGC Germany on March 29th. With, like, with DHL, they received the cards on, on March 31st. So right at the end of March. Um, they then sent them into to CGC USA. So they are actually sending them just over to, to the US. Um, you might think, well, that's stupid. You might as well just do that yourself. I actually have a an Excel sheet that I do want to show off. I might do it while talking, just so you can read it, but we'll see. Um, they were received and entered into the system on April 14th, so it took like about two weeks for them to, to arrive and be entered into the system. Um, cards were done grading at the beginning of May, but I only found out after calling CGC US on May 25th. Um, the cards were on a shipment halt because of an unpaid invoice. I didn't receive my invoice until the end of May. But there are a few points here that that do make a little, little bit of sense. Um, every submission that was sent in the same parcel also have to be returned in the same parcel. So that includes other people's submissions. And I can tell you why that is. Because in, in Germany there is a... There is a certain option for exporting goods to just send them over, like, temporarily, and then you get them back later, and that way you don't have to pay any tax on it. Because if you would do it yourself, if you're from Germany, or if I would do it myself to send stuff into CGC, I would have to pay tax unless I know exactly what I'm doing. I mean, there are ways to do it as a, well, as a private person, so to speak, if you're not like a company, you don't own a company, uh, it's it's really, really difficult, and you might as well just use just use the German branch. Okay, so shipped from the from um, CGC US to CGC Germany on June 8th. Um, I received then well, there was nothing. There was absolutely nothing. I then received a shipping notification from CGC Germany on June 29th. And this was delivered yesterday, in fact. This was delivered June 29th. And, well, once they did get it in their hands, and once they all figured it out, it did get here in the end. So, it took round about three months in total, which, in my opinion, that's an okay turnaround time. I mean, they tell you that it's like 40 days on the, on the CGC Germany website, but I, I was okay with it. I was a little bit worried at times, I feel like the the conversations I had with the support of CGC Germany weren't up to par. 
I had I had messages just lying there for like two weeks until I actually received an answer. And that's a really long wait time in my opinion. I would have loved if they if they actually answer you a bit more frequently and a bit more on time. But I mean, other than that, it was actually a pretty good experience. And I will probably send in even more cards, and this is what I what I have right here. So let's the let these just sit right here. And these are some of the cards that I do want to send in. So this Mew, surprisingly though, I didn't even know this, this Mew exploded in price recently. I remember buying this for like, for like 10 euros or something, and now it's sitting at like 60 for some reason. Well, it is 25th anniversary, and then like all the cars are getting, are getting crazy. And maybe that's why we have the, the Sword and Shield promo, or not the Sword and Shield, the um, Scarlet and Violet promo over here, the Pikachu. And then we have 10 cards in here. We have, of course, well, you've already seen this in a Mail Day video. We also have the the Zekrom and Reshiram. I pulled this on my channel from my Dream League booster box opening. It was really nice. You've also seen, seen this one. I've, I've like, cracked it out of the, the case from, like, that German grading company. And this one I also pulled in my Dream League opening, which was crazy. This one I bought. Funnily enough, I bought this one before the whole Lily craze. So I paid like only like 5 euros or something for it. And here are some of the full art trainers that I've pulled and or bought. I've pulled this one, the furry soda girl. I bought this one, the Gardenia. Actually got a really good price on this card. Here is the the Charon's Care. I, I also bought one, didn't pull this one. Um, here is the Professor Sada or Professor's Research featuring Professor Sada. Also bought this one. This was in one of my shorts. And here is the Candice. I've pulled this one from, from Paradigm Trigger. And here is the Melanie that I've pulled from the from the Mew um, Jumbo Card Collection, like V-Star Universe. So these are the cards that I definitely want to send in. There are a few cards missing. I mean, I have a package lying around here. That's That's for a Mail Day video. That's for an upcoming video. So I can't really show that off right now. So here we are, I've created this Excel sheet, you know, to compare the prices between CGC Germany and CGC USA. And also like PSA, you know, just to compare it like this between CGC. But I've converted all the prices, all the USD prices, which would just apply to CGC USA. I've converted those to two euros. This is why this, this is all in euros. And one USD equals to 0 0.93 euros. Because I had someone saying on my announcement video that it's actually cheaper to send cards into CGC USA yourself. And I can tell you right now, that is not true. Not in the slightest. Because, well, one card, that's, that's, you wouldn't send in one card through economy. You, you wouldn't really do that. Um, because it gets ridiculously expensive for just one card. So here we are. For economy 15 cards, so I'll give him that. The price is for grading. It is cheaper because of the whole USD conversion. And where it does get more expensive is the shipping too. So with, this would be the cost for, for me shipping a parcel to the USA. And the return shipping, which is actually on CGC's website. They actually give you a correct price for how many cards um, it costs to ship them back to Europe. So, it's just this makes it not worth it. Even if we discard the value added tax, which, by the way, even if we took this one out of here, it would still be more expensive. There is like this whole, I've mentioned it earlier, if you actually know what you're doing, you can, um, you can do a temporary export. And that way you don't have to pay VAT, but it's really difficult to do. You have to get the exact forms, and you know the Germans are sticklers for forms and all that stuff. So, but even if we exclude that, it would still be more expensive than, than sending them into CGC Germany. One thing to note, though, which I found really interesting, like the price for 15 economy cards... And the price for 25 bulk cards actually works out to be the same, strangely enough, for some reason. And I think this is why I'm like adding 
some random cards into my next submission probably just so I can get to like 25 cards because if you compare the prices that's essentially grading 10 cards for free if you will and the only problem I have with with some of the cards in here are like most of them are are rather cheap but the the Solgaleo and the Charizard GX for that matter they are more expensive than 250 for bulk the max value you can declare for a card is 250 so uh, maybe maybe I'll take the risk you know maybe I just say F it and just go for it and just to compare because I recently used a PSA middleman service to send in my my on the ball promo cards to PSA and 15 cards is just slightly more expensive than than CGC but this has worked super well and I do like the the slap design of CGC although they are changing their label that's one thing to note but I think I'll still go with CGC if you do 25 though PSA it just it gets out of control so the only possible thing that I could do is either send in 15 cards to either CGC or PSA whichever I I prefer I guess Right now it's CGC, I'm gonna lie. Or just go for like 25 cards, which is actually the same price, but I get more cards graded, you know? I think I'm gonna go with that. Well, but anyways, I guess that does it for, for this video. It was a bit longer than I originally intended. I mean, I, I only had three cards in this, and I don't know how long this video is gonna be, like 15 minutes, 20 minutes, um, but I like to ramble on. Well, but anyways, if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like. If you didn't enjoy it, then by all means, do give it a dislike. Tell me in the comments below what you didn't like, so I can try to fix that for future videos, perhaps. And other than that, thank you so much for watching, and I hope we'll see you in the next one. Peace, peace.